Hello and welcome to my channel. This video is an addendum to the open SCAD for math video I did, the Polygon Fun. And this takes the open SCAD uh, coding design and puts it in a, a website called BlocksCAD. And you can visit the website, you see the address here, it's blockscad3d.com slash editor. Or in my case, I installed the BlocksCAD software because it's open source in onto my own machine and, and ran it from there. So you can see I have this tab open with the same code, but you'll notice that it's running um, on the local host at port 9000. So this video is going to show you how you can do that. Um, it's very easy and you can be finished in just a couple of commands. So to start out with, you're going to want to go over to the GitHub site for, for BlocksCAD and that's at Einstein Workshop, BlocksCAD. And just uh, click on the clone or download button and click on the copy to clipboard button. So now you have your uh, URL or URI, I'm sorry, for the uh, code for, for BlocksCAD. You take that UR, uh, URI over to your, oops, that's the running version of BlocksCAD. You take that URI to your terminal and just type in git, git clone. And I strongly recommend making sure you uh, learn Git because it's a wonderful thing. If you don't have Git installed, um, you can head over to their website and, and it'll, uh, it's probably just a, a pseudo app git install git. Um, actually, we'll try that afterwards. Um, all right, so I had already installed, so now I'll just, let me just remove it and I'll put it back in. Okay, so I removed my installation. This is really easy to install, so it's, uh, I would, had no problem with deleting it and doing it again. So you run your git clone, and after a, uh, a minute or two of, of downloading and installing, you'll have your copy of uh, BlocksCAD running. You can see it's almost done as I speak. Okay, so about 30 seconds later, it was uh, finished up. So you have all the code you need to run BlocksCAD. So at this point, all you need to do is uh, change to the BlocksCAD directory, and I'm just typing BL then tab to use uh, command line completion, and I'm in the directory. So now what you're gonna be typing is, um, you're gonna be executing a Python command to start the server. So that Python command is listed in the readme at, block, at the GitHub for BlocksCAD. You see right, it right here, it's Python simple HTTP server port uh, 9000 and uh, so that's all you have to do is enter that into your terminal and it will start a HTTP server so that's simple as that and then to get to that address you type 127.0.0.1 port 9000 and you have your very own copy of BlocksCAD running now this is not really uh, all that necessary because you can just use their version online. Um, I prefer to run a local copy, especially if it's open source. I get to learn how to install it and hopefully a little bit about the software. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to load uh, the block from my computer that I had uh, previously created. You can see so you can save them. In this case, it was just untitled. So your students could save them if they need to. And, and you can just simply render that. So this is rendering on my local computer. So that might be an advantage to having it locally. You may get it, a render faster. Although I, can't, I have to say BlocksCAD 3D seems to render fairly quickly and I haven't had an issue at all. And then uh, the great thing I, the thing I like a, a lot about this is you can generate an STL right from BlocksCAD. So um, let's just open it with Cura. So you could prospectively have a, a, a all-in-one solution, maybe on a Raspberry Pi where BlocksCAD is installed on the Pi um, and with Octoprint and send, send the STL right to the printer. So that's how you install BlocksCAD. I hope you like this video. Please, please subscribe for more videos like this. And make sure you click on the alarm bell so you get notified of, of new videos as they come out. Have a great day.